Hey there, it's Tracy with Butch and Sundance K9. Just wanted to check in with everyone and see how you're doing during these strange times. Of course, our dogs don't care that it's strange. They're just happy that we're home more with them. And I just wanted to talk about a few things about this time, how you can make this into an opportunity for you and your dog to get closer, but also to continue this journey into training and behavior modification and just making your leadership role really clear and solid with your dog, all mixed in with having a lot more cuddle time and rest time together. So I was going to show you a few things that you could do in your living room or kitchen. And if we just sort of look at this as a small space, um, I set up some cones and chairs and a place cot. Um, and you can just get creative with what's ever in your house and see what kind of fun things you can do. Uh, those of you who have already gotten pretty proficient in your foundation work. Uh, you could just do this off leash. You could do it with a slip lead. I think we'll start with a slip lead and just show you how easily that can translate into off leash. So structured play and games, remember, is all positive stuff. We aren't correcting for any mistakes um, as they're learning these uh, odd fun things with you. The only thing we would correct for with our nope word is the typical things that are never allowed, mouthing, jumping, if they get over, overly excited. And, but other than that, we're going to be encouraging, motivating, and even do some luring with treats to things that are um, a little odd for them to learn. So we've got Pony out here today. Pony, do you wanna play some games? All right, good girl. So we're getting her on a slip lead to start and we're gonna just use all the phrases that we use in our foundation work. We're gonna make those not only more solid um, as far as response, but we're gonna make it a little bit motivating by adding a little treat factor this time. So Pony, let's go. Pony, heel. So I've set up these cones, but you can just set up anything in your house to get your, your dog kind of thinking and watching you and tuning in. And remember that it's important to keep your crate time integrated into your day, even if you're home all the time. Um, getting your dog comfortable with going in the crate, whether you're home or not, whether you leave the room or not. Pony kennel. Making sure they understand that door open or door shut, they still need permission to come out. Let's go. And Pony, of course, knows place, and our dogs learn that really easily. Pony place. We can uh, add some challenge. Sit. Collapse. Good. Let's go. And once we've got a solid place, you can really mix it up and start asking them to fit themselves onto smaller spaces. It's actually uh, not only kind of fun for them to challenge themselves in this way with your encouragement, but they will build some confidence by being able to do things that are somewhat challenging for them. So let's see, this is a, just a camera case I had downstairs, and so I'm gonna see if we can get Pony up and, and understand the place command can apply to anything. Pony. Place. Good. So no problem for Pony, but I will let you know I tried this before. I turned the camera on and it did take several repetitions for her to understand she could fit all four feet up on this case. Um, treats were the key in this thing. Anything that's odd or weird and we're asking for compliance, um, we sweeten the deal. Good job, Pony. We're going to take the slip lead off now and see how she does. Let's go. Pony heel.
going around something here. It can really get your dog understanding right next to you is where you want her. Heel. <laughs> Again, a little sweetening the deal never hurts to help her understand what you want. So as you can see, there's a lot of things that you can do with your dog um, that enhances the learning process, the bonding process, your leadership role in the household. I like this, it gets kind of um, challenging for their little brains and so I like to add in some more kind of fun play. One of the things that you may not know about yet, it's called a flirt pole. We can give our dogs some really good fast exercise. Um, using the flirt pole in a small space. I like to do it on a rug or a surface that's not slippery. Um, Tony's not very interested in the flirt pole. So.